we continue to monitor the spread of fruit flies, the citrus industry is still on edge. Channel 5 Sierra Pizarro shows us what Valley Citrus Tree growers are doing to prevent the spread. Sierra. Dina, the tiny pests still scaring growers across the valley. Other than being a nuisance, they're harmless to people. To citrus fruit, though, they're deadly. The battle against the fly hit the valley laboring over the holiday weekend. We are having an issue with the Mexican fruit fly. It's pretty devastating to the crop because I wasn't aware how such just a little bitty fruit fly like that could be so devastating and destroy a whole crop. Take a look. Oh, look, there's the, the mamas here. The tiny ones are the offspring. When you find a full grown fruit fly, it looks just like this. The fertile female population has doubled in just a month. We have uh, 16 positive fruit flies in the Hidalgo County area, which potentially means that we can start a quarantine area in the northern Hidalgo County or Mercedes area. The fruit, it's the catalyst to this species' survival. We have to make sure the trees are, you know, are kept picked. Fertile fruit flies normally mate inside the fruit itself. They inject its larvae and it reproduces. Valley residents are busy pulling the citrus from the trees to prevent the spread of these pests. Oh. Yeah, we'll take these off. Whether they're ripe or even dark green. It's an unripe fruit, but if it stays on there, it just rots. We're now at the end of the citrus season. Please have your fruit off of your tree. Lorenzo Garza urges citrus tree owners to have their branches clear of fruit. After picking citrus, if you don't plan to keep it or give it away, throw it away. There's a proper way to do that. Cut the citrus in half so the fly larvae is released, then bag the fruit and toss it right out. In the studio, Sarah Pizarro for Channel 5 News at 6. Also proactive in tackling the flies, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Although they're native to Mexico, they say the wind pushes the pest our way. USDA teams have more than 2,000 traps set throughout the valley. Traps are checked once a week. Joseph Ramirez tells us that's not the only method being used to stop the spread. There we're using sterile insects that we're releasing. We also have additional traps at all the fly finds that we have in the Rio Grande Valley. And we're also doing spray treatments where we find flies. In addition to that, we do preventative sprays where we found flies the year before, we go back and we spray again on a monthly basis to, to try to mitigate that danger. Ramirez tells us so far one section of Willis County is quarantined. That quarantine should be lifted in six months.